is the melanin all? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing pretty good. Hopefully, you are minding your business, okay? Keeping your social distancing and wearing your mask if you are out and about. If not, honey, don't talk to me. Don't look at me because you are part of the problem. Anywho, make sure you go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on my social media. As you had seen from the title correctly, it is time for Ask Miss P to revisit. This is number five honey this is a hoot for me okay why is it a hoot i'm watching my younger self answer questions right and i'm going to answer the question as myself okay older honey that's a hoot okay so i'm gonna just lean back okay i put myself right here so y'all can watch it too i'm gonna put the full link down below this way you can watch it in its entirety and uh yeah let's just go ahead and get into it hey what's up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous today yes I'm shadow well, and i'm here to do another ask miss p thank you guys so much for leaving your comments your video responses i really do appreciate it and i would really love to see your video responses please make sure you like this video while you're watching that lets me know that you video really responses see videos from evasion Yankee. Let's go ahead and see what her question is. Um, I... I wish they would bring video responses back. You know, that was that was a YouTube favorite of mine. And that's how really I started so many relationships on YouTube through video responses. But anyway, yeah. very much for the compliments i really do appreciate it i just love this style it's very practical my hair has been growing yes sir <laughs> you know. thank you for your comments i really do appreciate it if you guys have a video response definitely place it down below and baby years later honey you're gonna be short hair don't care okay it's interesting what you say you'd never do when you were younger because i never said i was going to be short but baby i can't i don't know when i'm gonna grow up back Okay, I even told her the day, you know, cut that thing in the back. I got a little tail going. Cut that thing off in the back, honey. I want it all to be some, yes, yes. I don't do a lot of holding spray. Can't do the gels, all that type of stuff, especially when it cake up, flake up. I can't do that. No, that's not it. So I'm still like that. Don't put a lot of stuff in my head. I, I don't. I really don't. And with this short hair, like, it's just a part of my routine. I get it done all the time. I've always gotten my hair done. It's just a part of my thing. Now, that's one of the things that I do that a lot of people are like, girl, you should know how to do your own hair. Not really. Not if I don't want to. That's one of the things that I'm totally okay with. Attach it to this video and you'll be in the next Ask Miss P. Another question was from Mariah Fan 05. Any advice for me on how to get started? You know, I was going to ask you that. Like, you know, where did it all come from for you? What was your inspiration? Um, and, uh, you know, how did, it, how did you get so, you know, so loved and so by so many people so quickly? Just being myself, that's my thing. You have to be truthful with what you're saying. I used to want everybody to like me. And, yeah, I want everybody to look at me and everybody to say, yeah. A lot of people don't say no, but you have to <laughs> Enjoy the content that I'm doing. If you don't like it, so be it. So stay true to yourself, stay true to your content, and just keep doing what you're doing because, baby, at the end of the day, you don't want to have to edit them videos and post them. How you doing? Honey, yes, self. I could have said it better, my damn self, okay? It takes a lot to be fake. It takes a lot to do stuff that you don't want to do. And I'm at the point in my life that if I don't want to do something, honey, I ain't doing it. Okay, and that's just that on that. And it really means the same thing with my personality, how I am, the videos that I produce. It's just, you like it or you don't. And if you don't, that's okay too. Honey, I'm not gonna argue with you about me. I'm not gonna do that. I had to learn that. And the biggest way I learned that was through YouTube because you get all types of comments, you get all types of people saying crazy shit. And at the end of the day, that is the platform that you're on and you're subject to that type of stuff. So I had to get a thick skin very early. So, you know, it is what it is on that. But as I've gotten older, that goes into my personal life as well, honey. I'm not gonna tap dance for nobody. And you shouldn't have to do it for me. Boop. Other question, CCWRC10 says, what do you use on your skin? I don't really have a skin regimen. I only use like my, con I have on makeup today. I but do. I use my cocoa butter formula and put that on my face. That's I miss that I formula. Do, I don't have any type of regular skin regimen. And take off your makeup. That's one thing I have to say, as well as make sure you find a makeup that works for you. I don't have no huge regimen when it comes to moisturizers and stuff like that. As long as it is like very hydrating because my skin is very dry. So I have to enjoy my H2O 
and also whatever I'm using has to be hydrating. So that's something that I have learned is make sure you take off your makeup and also make sure you know what is best for your skin, okay? That's important and I know I need hydration. Shango one says, what kind of lip gloss do you use and where can I buy it? Definitely check out my haul videos whenever I do them, but the lip gloss that I have on for this video what is was that the called? Pink Poodle. Yes, I have this. Pink Poodle was good. I don't think Mac has Pink Poodle no more, but I know what Mac is doing now. They changing the names so that it's new, but it's really just a reincarnated uh, lipstick or lip glass that they had before, okay? A lot of places do that. It was perfectly fine, um, but for right now, I am very much into, hold on, let me go get it. Maybe it's Maybelline. It is number 266 Pink Thrill, and this is a cream base. Um, and unfortunately, being that we're wearing these masks right now, I don't put on lipstick um, when I have my mask on because I don't want my product in my mask. I don't, unless I have a matte lipstick on. I have been using the lip bar a lot lately um, due to having the mask on because, honey, it's a part of me. I have lipstick on all the time. Me, Tally 3. Uh, she says, my name is Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Hope you are happy and healthy. Random questions. Answer if you can. Puppies or kittens? <sighs> puppies. I like little puppies. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, yes, puppies. Yeah, and now I have a puppy. Well, he's not a puppy. He's a full-grown dog, okay? But who would have thunk? Girl, you would have known you was going to handle that. Uh, tiger or lion? I'm going to have to go with the tiger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gorillas or monkeys? Got to go with gorillas. I just saw, um, what was it? Uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh-huh. She's a home now. Yeah, oh, Lord. Uh, contacts or glasses? Glasses. Yeah. Wait, girl, no. Look at those frames. Honey, now I like them large and in charge. I like them large. As far as glasses or contacts now, contacts if I'm trying to be extra cute, honey, and I'm going out and I don't need to worry about my glasses and that type of stuff. Every day, though, I'm wearing my glasses. Yeah, uh, phone or tablet. Ooh, phone, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Talking or texting. Um, I'm more of a texter, but I talk on the phone. If I find somebody that I really enjoy talking on the phone with, I'll talk to them on the phone. But for the most part, I'm a text talker. It depends. Yeah, I agree. I well, lately as I'm getting older, call me. Well, well, no, let's not. My thing is, I don't mind texting for like cute little niceties. Like, okay, have a great day. You too. I'm good with that. But full long conversations, don't be doing that. And also, I hate. And hate is a strong word, but I truly believe this. Don't be sending me no long ass conversations that you want to have with me through text. I can't hear you. Like, don't do that. Don't be arguing with me through text. Don't be doing that. Uh uh. Don't be sending me. I used to send long paragraphs and let's keep going. I don't have time for that anymore. Call me and we can fix that in about a good 15, 20 minutes. Thank you. And TGIF or Chili's. Neither sometimes. Mm, yeah, mm -mm. especially now during the pandemic. But I go with Chili's. I haven't been to TGIF Fridays in a while, but we'll see. But I love answering those type of questions. So if you I do. I like those rapid fire questions. Next one, Miss Nay 11 says, hey, Miss B, are you still thinking about getting a tattoo? I spoke to you on Twitter and you mentioned getting one on your wrist. I keep chickening out on getting my tattoo. I really want one. And the only place I would probably get one is on my wrist or like on the neck area, honey. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey. She didn't. Ah, uh, girl, you come a long way. Now, if I could, I'd be tatted from the neck down. I, I believe that your body is a work of art, okay? And whatever you want to put on that thing, do it, okay? Um, As far as fast forward, I have two uh, tattoos right now. I have, and I did get this one right after graduation back in 2012. It says love. It still hasn't faded that bad. I also have a heart on my um, ankle. Yeah, there you go. Got that one in 2012. I got this one, was it last year? Year before last, I was with a bunch of my girlfriends and y'all have probably seen it on a vlog, but we were at a bonfire and we all ended up getting the same heart. It's about eight of us who have this heart. You can see it was like an open heart because it means we'll always be connected. It's not closed off like uh, we were drunk. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I do plan on getting more tattoos um, in the future. So uh, yeah, I'm all for body ink, honey. I'm all for it. Hi, Miss P. I'm new to your channel and I love your videos. My question is, are you a Christian? And if so, how do you deal with people who don't think being a Christian means anything? Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, honey, I love the Lord. And if loving the Lord is wrong, Huh? I don't want to be right, amen? 
Um, as far as people who have a disagree, I even had to stop myself, honey, because I know I still feel the same, but I had to interject self. First of all, I've been through so much in the last couple of years in my life that there's no way that God isn't real. God is an experience. God is a relationship. And until you have it, I can't convince you otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, other people, you can say what you'd like. You say, no, no, it's because that's great. Talk to them about it. But for me, honey, it's an experience all by yourself. And I can tell you my experience. And then it's up to you in order to have one. I'm a very spiritual person. I'm mm -hmm. not religious at all. No. Um, there's a difference. There's definitely a difference. That part, because God is still working on me on a lot of things. As far as me saying I don't cuss people out and stuff, you know, it depends on who needs to cuss, okay? Jay Cancer 2011 says, hello, Miss P, love your videos. My question is, how do you deal with the negative comments on YouTube? I don't pay them no matter. I don't give a if it's book. something definitely no. out of the way, I will say something about it. But for the most part, I don't pay it no mind, and I'll probably remove it just because I don't want other people, my viewers, seeing it and then latching onto it and having a debate. I can't stand that. I hate confrontation. I'm a Libra. We hate confrontations. I don't like negativity, so I just remove it. And that's for anything in my life. If I don't like it, you got to go. AP. Honey, that's the truth. And let's fast forward. You know where it says Libras don't like confrontation. Eh, as I've gotten older, I don't mind confronting the issue. But the thing is, we're not going to keep going with the issue. I'm going to say, hey, what, what, what is this? What, what you doing that for? Okay, stop doing that. Thank you. Or I'll delete you. Be blessed. I think the main reason why they say Libras don't do confrontation is we don't have time for ridiculousness. We just don't. We don't like a bunch of chaos, dysfunction, and monotony. That's me. I'm that type of Libra. So I will confront it and say, what are you doing? Can we please stop? Thank you so much. Or I don't like that. Let's not do it. Or is there a root? What are we doing? I'm all about getting to the end of the issue. Like, what are we doing here? But as far as me continuing to see negativity and bullshit, I don't, mm -mm, I don't like it. Gotta go. ESU 2015 says, will you attend grad school right after college? And will you be getting your own place? I gotta hear Love this. you and your videos. Am I attending grad school right after college? Not right after college. Um, I'm taking a year off <laughs> to do other things and I'm really excited about it. And I'll probably go into grad school, not this upcoming fall, but the next fall. But I have some things lined up. Girl, that sounded nice. Life will bitch slap your ass, okay? Am I right? Am I right? Do I regret that? Not going directly into grad school? No. Mm -mm. Now I'm much more focused. I knew what I wanted to do. I'm glad that year off turned into um, five, okay? So you never know where life is going to take you. Um, and that's my thing. Always have a plan for your plan that's after that plan. I'm, I'm a fan in that. As far as when will I be getting my own place, not no time soon. I'm very comfortable where I'm at. I That's enjoy true. my parents and I'm really I do. home anyway. And even when I am home, like during the summer, I'm not even home. I'm always traveling or going somewhere. So no, I don't plan on moving out anytime soon. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just saying it. This fucking pandemic. But anyway. Back to the moving out story. Um, I still agree. I still live with my parentals. I love my parents. Like, and now the gotcha gotcha is a lot of people are moving back home with their parents, living with their parents. People live together. There's a lot of people that do that. And people used to make me feel bad about living home with my parents and now they back home with theirs. I'm like, worry about your own garden, okay? Before you want to tend to mine. Thank you very much. But as far as me moving out, um, I do see myself buying, purchasing a home probably in the next year. Y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm talking about? Stay tuned. But as for right now, honey, with the world we living in, I am chilling. We all have our own section of the house. We really like roommates and we just eat together. Like, that's dope. It's been interesting navigating that. So, um, yeah. Miss the 119 says, hey, Miss P, how you doing? You're the best. My question is, um, when do you plan on being a mother? You would be a great mother. Oh, hold up. Not no time soon. I don't think I'm gonna have no children until like I'm like 30. Like, <laughs> I want to live my life. <laughs> pause for the cause. This bitch said 30. No, pumpkin uterus. Yes. Are you gonna have any babies? In the next couple months? Hell no. Okay. That's what she said. This just in. My uterus said, hell no. To the no, no, no. That's what she said. Mm -mm. 
And it's not because I don't want children. I've extended that, okay? Um, I see myself, of course I do wanna have kids. My mama keeps hinting around that she wants grandchildren. She'll be around the time I'm 33. I don't wanna be the old mama. I mean, women are doing it, okay? But I don't. I wanna be done having kids by the time I'm 40. I don't wanna be 40 and above having babies. That ain't it. That's not the judge for me. Now granted, I don't know what God has for me, but I know he not gonna do that. That's in my prayer, Jesus. When it's time for me to start getting fertilized and I sprout, I don't want it to be when I'm old. Amen? Okay, amen. But you do what you want. If that's your ministry, you do it. But as far as me right now at the age of 30, having a kid, no, that's not my ministry. I don't see it. I love children. I do. You know, I'm like the kid whisperer. But at the same time, do I want any of my own right now? Mm -mm. I want my kid to be able to go on vacations, have a house to live in, you know, enjoy me as a parent. I want to be able to go to the PTA meetings and they go, that's your mama. Oh, shit. Like, that's what I want. That's what I had growing up. You know what I'm saying? I want the same thing. I want my kids to you know, have an opportunity. I don't want my child to feel like a burden, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's not it. I want to be fully there for my child, present, accounted for, and granted, still make my moves and do what I have to do, okay? So I definitely want to have kids, just not tomorrow. But if Miss P do turn up pregnant, y'all, I'm going to have me a register. Y'all better send some damn gifts, okay? I see Kia Oasis. says, could you do a makeup or just little things like that video or like what you use? Your channel is awesome, by the way. As far as makeup, I've done one of those before. It's on like a pass pass haul. I use bare minerals for my face. That's all I use. I don't do any head. I don't even have on mascara today, but. Ooh, shocking. I love me a good old nasty mascara. I can't get my lashes done right now due to COVID. But, honey, I love a good old nasty mascara honey let land call mascara that hypnos it'll turn your life around honey thank me later i don't do anything to my eyebrows my eyebrows are naturally this dark so you know god is good for that reason alone honey eyebrows are back my eyebrows were thinner in this video because back then in 2012 the thinner the brow that was great and i was like why are my eyebrows so thick well now honey if your eyebrows ain't thick what are you doing and so it's amazing how you know the trends just do like this but i always say do what you like do what makes you excited i love a good old nasty beat face but i personally don't do that every day it's ptv90.wordpress.com i always post on my oh blog. i don't blog Twitter. Miss BTV101 says, what brand of eyeshadow do you use? I use a brand from eBay. How you doing? Um, I just found a nice palette off of eBay a couple months ago. And I've been using it ever since. I laugh about old self. I agree. I'm the same way. If I like the palette, though, I'm like, ooh, that's cute. But I know me. I don't do a lot of palette type of things. And I don't be blending. And I don't do all that. Now, I did say one day now. One day. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, because you can learn anything on YouTube. I'm gonna watch and see how I can properly beat this face to oblivion, honey. But I know me, it's just gonna be terrible. Terrible in a good way, honey. I'm gonna be all just sitting there. Y'all gonna be like, oh shit, Miss B, I need you to do that look. And I'm gonna go, nah, boo, that ain't my ministry. But you never know, I might take off in flames. Y'all know, okay? But I know me, when I start doing something and I really like it, I'm on. It's on like popcorn. So we gonna see. Don't, don't hold your breath though. 23 says where are you from what state i'm from north carolina mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i love miss chayez tv says how long do you think you will post on youtube do you want your own show one day and finally when you have a family do you think you will be broadcasting that part of your life oh my god when i start having a family i don't even know if youtube will be up by then or if i'll even do that type of thing but i know i'll always take pictures and do videos and things like that as far yeah. as how long will i be doing youtube for as long as i can and as long as my heart is into it and i'm enjoying it and that's the thing when you're doing youtube videos your heart has to be into to it and you have to enjoy it yes. a lot of people how do i get subscribers how do i start making money on youtube how do i do this and you're too thirsty you want the rewards first and you haven't put in the work so it, you have to put in the amen. work first and when it starts becoming a job and that's happened for me like in the past i was putting out videos and not worried about different things when i stopped enjoying it i didn't like it and that's my thing i record video after video after video when my energy is up i can't record when my energy is down because then i'm just not going to enjoy it that and if part. i don't like it while i'm editing it doesn't go up so mm -hmm. you have to enjoy it especially the product that you put out that part 
that part honey yes i so agree and i feel the same way now i'm gonna do youtube as long as i can even with vlogging i took a break just so that i could get back to me you know what i'm saying um so it's interesting and what you do with youtube is what you do with it and your perspective is your perspective especially when you have an audience so it's up to you what story you tell My story has changed if I was saying the same things that I was saying 10 years ago, please be afraid, be very afraid. But I have grown, I've evolved, I've changed, and I love the person that I'm becoming. As long as y'all keep watching, I'm gonna keep posting. But that is the end of this Ask Miss P volume number five. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any questions that you would like to see on volume number six, post it down below. New questions, I'll answer them at the end of the Ask Miss P or either the beginning. But thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it y'all are awesome and this is why i continue to do it because i am still here years later so i think that's fantastic but i will see y'all on the next video peace love and walk that good stuff honey look at my little michael jackson curls just falling bless it but anyway peace love and walk that good stuff god bless bye